Yeah. Uh-huh. 
This male sh sh this man shall be blessed in his deeds. Amen. Genesis chapter number one. Praise God. Amen. Verse number twenty-six. Praise God. Starting at verse number 20, 26. Amen. Praise God. And the Bible reads. Amen. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let man have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. Amen. Praise God. And God said unto them, be fruitful. Not only he said that to the male and the female. And he told them to be fruitful. Amen. Praise God. And to multiply and replenish the earth and to subdue it. Amen. And he and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth and every tree and which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed to you it shall be for me. It shall be for nourishment. That's all that's for. Amen. Praise God. I hear so many people try and use this scripture in the in the tone of perversion. Amen. To try and condone doing all kinds of ungodly things. But he said it's to be meat. Praise God. Amen. What do you do with meat? You don't smoke meat in a pipe. You don't drink meat out of a glass. You're not talking back to me. Amen. Praise God. No. You consume meat for the nourishment of your body. And that's what he said. That these herbs ought to be for. Praise God. But amen. Glory be God. He says, and to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, where, where they in life is, there is life. I have given every green herb for me, and it was so. And God saw everything that He had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. God blessed them. Praise God. God created man in his own image. And in the image of God created him. He, him, male and female created them, him, them. God blessed them and said unto them, be proof and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish and over the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the face of the earth. Amen. Praise God. Amen. May the blessing, may the word of the Lord, amen, enrich the lives of people. We thank God. Praise God that he add a blessing to his word, the blessing of understanding this morning, amen, and a blessing, praise God, to those, amen, as we read in the scripture earlier, that are not just hearers of this word, but listen, will, will, will make up their mind and say, I'm grabbing hold to the word today, and I'm going to start living according to what the word says, not according to what I feel, not according to what people may suggest, amen, or what status quo may be, or the pressure from the world. I'm going to live according to to what the word says. Amen. That's what he said. Listen, we got to be a doer of the word. Amen. So that we can do the work. Amen. A doer of the word. So that we can be a doer of the work. Praise God. But what I'm going to talk to you. Amen. Praise God. I want to talk to you on the subject. Praise God. Where we said that he created man. He said, let us make them in our image. And after our likeness. And God just began to talk to me on the subject titled. The image bearer. Amen. The image bearer. Praise God. We are the image bearer. Amen. The bearer of the image of God. Praise God. Glory be to God. Amen. Uh, simply but plain, saints of God. Amen. Listen, God created us. Amen. Praise God. The Bible says for one thing, and that was to be his image, to be a visible representation. That's how you break that down. Amen. In simple, plain terms. Amen. An image is something that you can visibly 
clearly see. Amen. Praise God. It visually represents an object. Praise God. That's why when they talk about your shadow, your shadow, amen, is an image of you. Praise God. It represents you. Praise God. Your shadow goes everywhere you go. Praise God. And it is with you all the time. Whenever light shines, praise God. Praise God. There is a shadow. Amen. Praise God. Listen, you don't see a shadow in the midst of darkness. Praise God. The shadow don't work. Praise God. So, amen. Listen, we got to understand something. Amen. Listen, God is light. The Bible says that. And he told us that we ought to be the light of the world. Praise God. Glory be to God. And seeing that we ought to be God's image bearer, no way. Praise God that if we cut the light off in here. Amen. Listen, your shadow is with you long as there is light because praise God, light provides the means to cast an image, a visible representation of you. But when the lights go out, praise God, and it gets dark, praise God, listen, then the image no longer ceases to be in existence. And that's what it is, saints. That's why God told us, praise God, listen, he said, what part does light have with darkness. Come on here. Praise God because you can't be what God called for you to be if you keep hanging out. Amen. that praise God in the dark. God said I created you to be my image bearer. Praise God and I've given you this work to do. Praise God. He told Adam and Eve. He said listen now. I'm going to make everything subject to you. Praise God. And because there is a work in the earth that needs to be done. And y'all been here Sounding the horn Sunday after Sunday, Wednesday after Wednesday, that God is in need of some people. Praise God that will take this thing seriously. Amen. Praise God. And he needs some folk that don't mind being the image of God and to stop trying to be a visible image for the world. You got a whole lot of folk nowadays that's trying to show off God. Praise God. The truth to the world. But God never show him off. No, praise God. He told us to bear his image. You got folk, praise God, that has confused a certain look or a certain lifestyle. Maybe they think that they blessed. Maybe they pray that because they got money. And because they got money, they say, this is nothing but God. But if God making you praise God, dye your hair. If God making you praise God, put on tight clothes. If y'all ain't talking back to me, whose image are you representing really? And saying that you're representing the devil is a liar. Praise God. He put us in a place. Praise God. But we will be above and not beneath. The head and not the tail. But the sad thing is, praise God, is that so many of us, amen, praise God, amen, are not understanding our responsibility. Praise God of who God is and who we really are. First of all, can I just tell you that God is a holy God. Amen. The only thing that's in him is true. And the righteousness. And so if you're going to represent God, you got to represent Him in holiness. And you got to represent Him in truth. The Bible says that God, amen, praise God, that you worship Him, must worship Him in spirit and in truth. And that's the way you got to represent God. Amen. Truth in your walk, truth in your talk, truth in the way that you live, in your life, praise God. We got to be able to see that God has. You praise God. The sad thing is, is that I see a lot of folk, and then praise God, listen, that have believed the lie of the devil. God's word has never changed. Go back into the Old Testament. Praise God. Listen, they talk about things. What clothes got to do with it? What? Amen. It's got a lot to do with it. Can I just tell you this? Praise God. If it has nothing to do with it, then why would God have his priests to take off their clothes? was holy and that was representative of who they were. They were priests and priests should wear priestly garments. Don't you got to know that the Bible says that you are a royal priesthood, a chosen generation, a peculiar people. Can I just tell you that for me? Listen to some of these folk that I see that say that they are saints. Don't look like they represent no priesthood. They're not talking back to me. But Lord, I really ain't got time this morning out there. They say that they're God. Praise God. Y'all ain't talking back to me. Ah, but the devil is a liar. 
fish uh, Amen. To the world, praise God. Listen, uh, he said he created them male. Uh, and he created them uh, and female. He created them uh, together, praise God. Uh, and he gave them a work to do. Uh, he gave them things to do, saints. Uh, amen. Praise God. Can, can I answer this morning? Uh, praise God. If I took a look uh, and examined your life today, uh, amen. Praise God. Who are you working for? Uh, don't you know that the Bible says, uh, praise God, that you are servant uh, to whomever you need your members to uh, all y'all they talking back to me. Oh, uh, it's in there, it's in the book of Romans. Uh, uh, yeah, you a servant. Uh, uh, to whomever you yield in your members to uh, uh, praise God. Uh, uh, are you yielding your members to the devil? Uh, 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 are you yielding your members to God? Uh, 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 they can pray God, but it's just plain. Uh, who you serving then? Uh, uh, if you don't stop praying, uh, uh, if you don't stop reading the Bible, uh, 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 if you don't stop trying to sing, uh, singing praises to God, uh, uh, you don't stop doing the work of God, uh, uh, then it's evident who you yield in your members to. Uh, uh, Amen. Praise God. Stand right there. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah, praise God, expecting him to grow. Amen. Hold his mic. God is expecting him to grow. But now here comes the word. And what the world starts doing is the world starts choking him. Huh? He's trying to stay. He's a Christian, but he's in the world. What he's doing is, is that he's going back to his old family. They still listen to the world of music. His friend, that's a little choke on him. But as long as he stays there, the tight of the grip get. He continues to stay there, the tight of the grip get. Now, after work, because I'm applying pressure to him, and he knows that he's ministering, but he can only hold this pressure for so long. The pressure that I'm just represented, just represented and I'm not literally trying to choke this one. I'm just doing a demonstration so that they can understand. I was, I was hoping you were going to put your hands up and try to take my hands off. Put your hands up and try to take my See, this is what's supposed to happen. See, this, this, what, they, what he's doing now is he's fighting with the word. He's trying to fight. He's trying to get the world off of him. See? But if, he, but if he's not successful, just say it. He said, well, it ain't going to work. He put his hands like that. The world keeps applying pressure. It keeps applying pressure until after a while, it kills him. And he falls out of God. The word that fell among stones. And thank y'all. Thank y'all. Amen. Praise the Lord. I hope you don't get in trouble. <laughs> Social distancing, I think I'll put it up on YouTube. <laughs> I have mercy. Amen. But after a while, the world begins to choke him. And he'll lose his life. I should have brought Nick up here. <laughs> after a while, the world will choke all the life out of him. If he doesn't fight. If he doesn't fight. If his fight is weak, the world will never stop that pressure. Uh, okay. If the has, 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 has the women start all wearing long dresses, they still wear them short. They apply the pressure from the world. Uh -huh. Have the men, amen, all got big and bulgy and they ain't got muscles and looking good, but they get so sweet looking out there now. Amen. They cut their eyebrows and dye their hair and everything. And y'all not talking back to me. Well, look, come on now. They still they still apply pressure. Huh? Listen, they still selling weed. Huh? They 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 y'all ain't talking to me. The little stove, matter of fact, they make it so easy now. You don't even have to go out of your house. You can make a call. Just give me some chicken wings, but bring that bottle. Come on here. Glory be to God. Come on. That's the pressure of the world. The gambling shacks is still open. Y'all ain't talking to me. Come on. Glory be to God. That's the world huh? applying pressure. God was showing me. Amen. Praise God. Listen, he said, I created you to be my image. Amen. But you're out there and with hell. Amen. You're in the thorns of the pressures of this life. Amen. It's choking the people of God. And if you ain't, if you're, if you're not fighting it, before you know it, praise God. Listen, amen. All of the life that God put in you. Because when you came and you confessed Jesus as Lord, when you said on this altar, God, I want to live for you. I'm going to give you my life. Visible 
a representation. That way, everywhere we go, uh, amen, praise God, and everything that we do, uh, we are to be the representative of uh, uh, God. But I got to tell you all something, uh, is that you got to watch out for the thorns. Uh, you got to watch out for the cares uh, of this life. Uh, because guess what now, praise God? Listen, them thorns ain't growing by themselves. Now, listen, God ain't putting no water on them. Uh, but you better know that the devil is. Uh, the devil is out there. He's watering them thorns. Uh, he's watering them cares. That's why you got to be careful of them friends uh, that make light of your relationship with God. Uh, amen. They're always trying to get you uh, to go back on the promises uh, and the vows that you made to God. Uh, listen, that ain't nothing but praise God. Uh, Well, but they were living according to the word. 
to me this morning. God has called us uh, to be image bearers. Uh, amen. Praise God. I'm going to give you three and then I'm on. Amen. Praise God. Move on a little bit for the uh, glory be to God. Uh, as I was talking to the Lord about this. Uh, amen. Praise God. You know what God told me? Uh, amen. Praise God. The first thing he said uh, is that we have to accept the responsibility to bear his image. Uh, because everybody don't want to do that. Amen. No. People want to be saved. They said they want to go to heaven. But they don't want to represent God. Because you know why? It's going to cause you to give up too much. Amen. Now, I told y'all, y'all heard me say this. I heard people tell me that. Pastor Zach, I would be, I would come to your church. I would be a member. But I got to give up too much to be over there. I got to give up this. And I got to give up. Listen, praise God. Whether you come here or not, you ain't going to get into heaven. You ain't going to smoke no blood in heaven. You ain't going to drink no liquor. Y'all ain't coming back to me. Praise God. I can see my car right now. Kicking you up out of there. Amen. Praise God. Y'all ain't here. Hear me? Say what happened in the Bahamas. Huh? Staying in the Bahamas. When I'm saying. 
said, you know what? I'm so glad God Amen. didn't come for you while you was over there. I praise God. Listen, glory be to God. Because you wouldn't have stayed in the Bahamas. You'd have been broke, roasting in hell. Amen. Praise God. Now, let me tell you something. We got to live for the Lord. Whenever we go. Amen. Listen, we can put no images. Nothing can be more priority in our life. Listen now. Let the Bible say it. He's going to bless us with things. Now, I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking that. If you live righteously and if you live for the Lord, then God don't bless you because favor won't be on your life. Amen. Praise God. The simple fact that I know that God will and allow things to come up is because he said, I will give you houses that you did not build. Listen, amen. God, listen. Amen. God is not saying that you got to be broke, busted, disgusted, going out to use the shoes, running to the side, and all that type of stuff. No. But listen, if he do give you a house, praise if you do give your land, God got to be honored in it. We can't be like that man. They said, listen, I'm going to build me bigger bars. And the scripture says that the Lord said, not fool, your soul shall be required of you. Whatever you do, and then God got to be able to still get glory and honor out of it. Put no other images before him. His image is what the world should see in our lives every day. They shouldn't have to guess about who we are. Right. No, they shouldn't. Right. In the old time, the people knew who the priests were. Uh -huh. Because they were dressed like dress. Uh -huh. huh? They didn't have to guess who the priests were. They didn't have to guess. They had to guess who Jesus, who John the Baptist was. Uh -huh. Why? Because what they were speaking was the language of the kingdom. What they were doing were the works of God. They weren't blending in. Praise God, don't you let the devil persecute you and make you feel bad about living for God because that's what you're here to do. He created you to be his image and his likeness. And the image can't shine when all the lights are gone. You over there in the midst of darkness all the time talking about I'm all right. Nobody's saved. You know, the same person, so-called, up in there Everybody up in there smoking, drinking, gambling, cussing. Amen. And then you all sitting up in there. Oh, I'm going to go to church tomorrow. Amen. Pray to God. Don't talk about it. Come on here. It's darkness all around you. Amen. And if you if it's darkness and you are the light, then what image are you shining? Huh? If you sitting up there just saying, I the Lord. And they over there playing. Uh, uh, all can in. They playing it. <laughs> I don't know who else is there. I don't know all this other stuff. Right. I don't know nobody knew. <laughs> that way, if it ain't pre-97, I don't know nobody in that house. Amen. <laughs> Glory be to God. Amen. They playing all that. You, what, what the light you shining? Uh, oh, let me leave that alone. Amen. Praise God. And then he said, last to me is to remember what's in you and who you belong to. Amen. We got to remember that because we are the image of God. Amen. And God gave us power and dominion. Saints. He put us here with a purpose. Amen. In the book of Numbers and I'm going to be done. The 13th chapter. We heard this story. God told the people he would give them a land flowing with milk and honey. They wandered in the wilderness for 40 plus years. It brings them to this place of their blessing. And they get here, praise God. He tells, he sent some of the spies in to spy out the land. And they went into the land and they came back, praise God, Numbers 13. Amen. And they begin to come back and they begin to give the report to Joshua. Uh, amen. They, 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 and they came to Moses and Aaron about what they saw. Praise God. And the men came back and said, yes, it is a land that flows with milk and honey. Praise God. They said, but there are some giants over there. Sons of Anakin. And we can't possess it. They said in verse number 31, 
says, but the man that went up with him said, we be not able to go up against this people, for they are stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land, which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, the land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eaten up its inhabitants. Thereof and all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Adam, who come to the giants. And we are in our own sight. Not in their sight. In our own sight, as grasshoppers, and so were in their sight. Oh, you got to remember what's in you and who you belong to. Saints, we are called to be image bearers, to represent the image of God wherever we may be. And God has said that we are a blessed people. That he's going to go before us and favor us wherever our feet may tread. He never told us that there would not be opposition. He never told us that we would not have struggle and strength. He never told us, praise God, that there would be hard days and times that we felt like giving up in this natural body. And I really believe, saints, that when we feel these type of ways, it's because we have forgotten, praise God, who is with us and the mission that placed before us. Never once, praise God, did anybody consider, praise God, that God sent them there. And if God sent them there, God already knew that the giants was there. But the reason why God sent them there, when in the midst of those giants, because God knew what was on the inside of them was bigger than any giant. God knew that his power and his ability that was with them was greater than any giant that they may face. That's why David told Goliath, you standing up there and you coming against my God. But the God that I serve going to slew you this day. You going to fall before him. Praise God. You got to remember what's on the inside of you. And you got to look at that depression and say you going to lose your hold. You coming out. You got to look at that addiction and say you going to take your hand off of me. I'm not going to be bound. You don't leave. I don't care if the prank still keep coming. You stand on the way with all the God that I serve. The Bible says the greater is He that is in me than He that is in the world. Oh Lord, remember what's in you and who you belong to. Oh, they were so fearful, Brother Steve. They forgot all about God. That's right. They said, this is too hard for me to do. Mm -hmm. How many times have you said that? Right. Oh, it's too hard to live saved. It's too hard to live this life. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pastor, you make it seem easy. Uh, listen, I learned how to pray. That's right. uh, I learned how to stay before God. That's right. When I'm out of being on this pool, pit, come on now. Thank you, Preaching a word like this, y'all think the devil running away from me? No. Come on here. Oh, God, no, if he can't get you one way, he'll get you another way. And what the devil will, he'll fight you at your weakness. That's why I understand what Paul meant when he said, I glory in my infirmities. Amen, praise God. Know the pain. Amen. On a daily basis, don't feel good. But I know that it's there for a reason. Praise God. It's working a greater way to know there. And I can endure this. I'd rather have less pain than to feel them hot coals. Y'all ain't talking back to me today. Glory be to God. Amen. Praise God. Listen, you got to know that if God brought you to it, he's going to bring you through it. Well, you may say, Pastor, you walked off and left me after 20 years, and my heart is broke. Take it to Jesus, he'll fix it. 